All right, boys, time to put this bad boy into here. Let's get greasy. All right, guys, today we're putting in a 2006 STI transmission into my 06 WRX. You guys have seen it on the channel before. It's gonna be quite a process. We're gonna have a fun day. I'll try and explain a little bit how I'm doing it all, but as far as the 06 STI transmission, uh, as far as I'm aware, it should just bolt right in. I don't have to change axles or hubs. Um, I'm changing my rear diff to a R160 and my drive shaft to an automatic drive shaft out of an older Impreza. And as far as everything else, it should just bolt right up. So let's start taking this thing apart and hopefully everything goes smooth and we'll get this thing installed ASAP. All right, everybody, so we've got a couple things dropped already. I decided to go ahead and drop the oil drain plug, as you guys saw. Always a good idea to drain your transmission before you go pulling it out so it doesn't leak everywhere and make a mess. But as you guys can see, maybe, it's not really that bad. I mean, there's a few metal shavings, but nothing crazy. So, I don't know, maybe when we have this thing rebuilt or whoever I sell it to and they have it rebuilt, they can let us know what the internals look like. I'd be interested to see and know about all that. But the plug doesn't look too bad. The fluid was super clean and it looked like there was plenty of it. So, I don't know, maybe just a little too much power for the five speed. All right guys, I think next what we're gonna do, pull the front wheels off, take these axles out, and then I just need to get the top bell housing bolt out here and it should be pretty close to coming out so let's uh let's get through this and get this transmission out so we can get the new one in Look at those thick boys. Oh, so meaty. If you guys haven't seen the video on these wheels already, go check it out. I'll put it up there. recommend dropping your sway bar links and you should be able to get your axles out a little bit easier than I did but nonetheless they're out I think the trans is ready to drop I'm gonna jack up the front of the engine just a little bit we're gonna get under there get the trans jack under it and jack it up and just hopefully just push it right back so I don't know let's go ahead and do it hopefully it goes easy there's the old five-speed guys it's out <laughs> looking pretty limp as you can see there but overall I mean the outside of it's in really good condition wasn't leaking or anything clutch was in good condition 
I got my flywheel and six puck out. Uh, I will show you guys. I showed them in the install video when I first put the transmission in, but there's the clutch and flywheel, the good old six puck unsprung. Good shit. So all that's out. We got the new one. Uh, it's got a little bit of surface rust on it. I'm really hoping it's just surface rust. There's some rust. I'm not too happy about it, but you know, it's a six speed. It should hold up, but I got to figure out how to get this under the car because you guys can see that the shifter sticks up way past how far I can get the car up in the air. So I'm going to have to figure out how to get this under the car, maybe lay it on its side or something, but we're done for today. Um, I'm going to have to get them to come back and help me tomorrow or something because I definitely can't lift it up in there by myself and our transmission jack is too tall to fit under there. So we're going to come back tomorrow. Hopefully I can get some help and we'll get her stabbed and then hopefully buttoned up quickly. So we'll see how this goes. What is up guys? We are back. It is Monday. We've got the clutch under there that needs to go in real quick. So I'm going to throw that in. And then I got a wire wheel brush attachment for my angle grinder. And I'm gonna take that and just clean up some of the rust that I showed you guys and hopefully get some of that stuff off. And then I'll get some help, throw this puppy in. So I guess so let's just get to it. Get this done as quick as possible. All right, everybody. Thanks to the legendary J Money in there. He's in there. But thanks to the legendary J Money, we got the transmission stabbed. She's bolted up and sealed to the bell housing. All I need to do is get the two brackets down there bolted in, the two mounts, then bolt up the rest of the bell housing bolts, and she should be good to pretty much put back together. Uh, I don't think I have really anything else major that I wanted to do today to this. I need to get the rear diff for it still, so I'm going to have to source out one of those, maybe go to the local junkyard pull and pay, and grab one of those ASAP. So. I officially have a six speed, boys. Hell yeah. All right, let's finish bolting this thing up and get her put back together as best we can. Cool guys, everything's pretty much put back together. Got the trans in, got everything bolted up. I put the intercooler back on. Not really sure why, cause I'm gonna have to take it back off to fill it with gear oil and everything. Still got to source out a diff, find a diff, throw a diff in, and then it should be good to go. Can put the drive shaft back in. That's pretty much all I need to do now is fill it with gear oil, put the diff in, slap the drive shaft back in, and she should be good to fucking get it, boys. 6B is officially installed. I appreciate everybody that helped me, Papu especially, and uh, Jay, the legend, for fucking bench pressing that 6 speed into my car. That was sick. <laughs> Well, uh, I don't think I'm gonna hold you guys. That's pretty much it. I ran into a little bit of wiring issue. It was kind of a pain in the ass because this has a DCCD controller and you have to cut the wires from your vehicle speed sensor. The two sensors that are on the transmission, you have to wire them to your regular wiring harness. Not too hard, um, but you know, it works. So uh, I'm sure there's tons of write-ups on like Nazioc and stuff like that for how to do it. But there she is, boys. Uh, six speeds installed. Can't wait to romp on it. I will be making videos soon of a few pulls and stuff like that. But if you like the video, give a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.